What is going on everybody? Welcome back, MTG here with another episode. If you're new to the channel, hi there. So I've got both the M4 Mac Mini and the M2 Mac Mini, and both of these are the base models. I've been using the M2 Mac Mini since launch of January of 2023, and it's been awesome. Everything I've thrown at it, it's kind of completed with ease, with no issues whatsoever. And now that this is out, I've decided to upgrade and share with you guys my thoughts and opinions about uh, both of these and the upgrading process and to answer a question is it worth upgrading from m2 to m4 so first things off the main thing you see is the visual difference the size the m4 mac mini is so much more compact than the m2 mac mini and just look at that it's a little bit larger than the apple tv but it's much more compact than the m2 Mac Mini. But if you do notice, uh, it is slightly taller, but it's more like in a cube shape rather than just being like this size. Now, both of these are portable. And the reason why I say both of them is because before this came out, this was the smallest Mac. It was a Mac Mini and um, it was easy to carry around. But knowing that this is now available and it's much more smaller, more compact, it's even easier to carry. And I've, I've done a couple of videos uh, talking about the M2 Mac Mini, its portability. I've done a separate like Mac Mini Tesla portable setup video on my Tesla Volt channel. I'll be leaving a link in the description down below if you want to check it out. Uh, but I will be making an updated video about that with the M4 Mac Mini. Nonetheless, that's the main visual difference. Other than that, you also do get two USB-C ports on the front of the M4 Mac Mini with the headphone jack, and uh, M2 Mac Mini doesn't have that. All of its ports are on the back, so we get right here the power, we get, first of all, uh, the power button is on the back. I'm gonna talk about that in a moment with the M4, and then we just get like uh, the power adapter right here. Uh, we get the ethernet. We get two Thunderbolt ports, we get HDMI, and then headphone jack right here, and then two USB-A for the M2 Mac Mini. Again, this is the base. With the M4 Mac Mini base, um, right now it's plugged in, but we get the power source right here, we get Ethernet, HDMI, and then the three Thunderbolt ports. So we don't get any of the USB-As, and then like I said, USB-C, and then uh, the headphone jack is on the front. On the bottom right here is where the power button is. And for some, that may be annoying if you consistently turn off your computer. For me, it's not that much of an issue because I'll place it just right here, just like that, and I'll kind of put it in sleep mode, and that's really it. Like, I don't need to worry about the power button uh, being on the bottom of the device. It's perfectly fine by me. Now, here's the thing. Uh, if you go with the base, you're getting 16 gigs of unified memory for the M4 Mac Mini and then eight gigs of unified memory for the M2 Mac Mini. And this ranges from 16 gigs to 64 gigs of unified memory. So it's nice to see that the base model of the M4 Mac Mini is now 16 gigs versus eight to 32 on the Mac Mini. Now when it comes to storage, they both come equipped with 256 gigs as the base and they go up to eight terabytes. For me, it's perfectly fine. I have external SSD. I just plug it in right in the front right here. If I do need to do video editing at home, but since I'm usually out on the go, uh, I've kind of taken my video editing, uh, my main MTG Productions video editing and kind of uh, pushed that towards doing it on my MacBook Air, which I hopefully am planning to upgrade to M4 MacBook Air whenever that does come out, as, as well as upgrading one day to a MacBook Pro, but we still got some time for that. Now, for supported displays, we get three support displays with the M4 Mac Mini. Two of them are via DisplayPort over Thunderbolt and then one via HDMI. And then for the M2 base, we get two, one via DisplayPort over Thunderbolt and one via HDMI. Now right here, uh, and I'll show you some B-roll, but I am using my Samsung M8 32 inch 4K monitor. It's at 60 Hertz. So I'm not really playing too much games or I don't really require anything that needs more than 60 Hertz. So it's fine for me. So I'm just running one display, but I would love to have a second Samsung M8 monitor. And this does is a smart monitor as well. So it kind of acts like a TV as well, but I just use it mainly for uh, doing work on my Mac mini. But I would love to have a second monitor and kind of add to my desk setup. But there it is. You get an extra support display with the base M4 Mac mini. So it's something to appreciate. Both of them come equipped with 
Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.3, and both of them will uh, come equipped with Apple intelligence. So you'll have to up update your M2 Mac mini to the latest software, but it's going to support Apple intelligence. What I do believe is M1 chipsets and newer will support Apple intelligence. But the 16 gigs of unified memory is definitely going to help with Apple intelligence while it's on the M4 Mac mini. So I do want to point that out. Now they both retail for $599 education price they both come down to $4.99. As of right now, I don't know if Apple is still selling the M2 Mac Mini, but for M4 Mac Mini at $5.99, it's a great price. And if you're a student and you go with the education price, $4.99 to get into the Apple ecosystem with a powerful computing device, you really can't go wrong. So those are just like the general specs. How has my daily use been between the two? And I'll be completely honest, it's been the same. It's been no different. I'm not that type of person where I'm running geek benchmark scores and kind of seeing which one is faster to open than the other. I'm not that type of person uh, as long as it pretty much takes care of everything I need to. And for me, it's, I sit down and do my morning to-do list right here. So I'm answering emails, replying to emails, replying to YouTube comments, uh, making sure, you know, my, my weekly to-do list on notions being check marked, uh, researching, uh, you know, product reviews and videos and things like that using chat GBT, uh, online through Safari. I'm not really using Apple intelligence as of right now. I know there's chat GBT integration, but I have not gotten to that yet, but I've also been using it for a little bit of video editing on the M4 Mac mini. And this is what I would do with the M2 Mac mini as well, or I'll change up my resume or I'll write some articles or I'll use it for Google spreadsheets or whatever it may be. And it's been pretty much the same. Like I haven't seen it run faster or anything like that. And that's not too much of an issue because the M2 Mac mini was already super fast. I do appreciate though, the portability and the size, the form fact that it's much more compact. Like I can easily hold it with one hand. That's something I really do like. And it just kind of, brings up so many video ideas that I can put out here on MTG as well as on test level. And I do have a portable monitor in this sleeve right here. It's I believe a 16 inch 4K portable monitor. Again, that's on my test level channel if you wanna take a look. I've absolutely been enjoying it. And I'll bring like my MX Master 3 and my Logitech uh, MX Mechanical Mini keyboard right here with me on the go. But I am kind of planning a dedicated portable setup. So if I'm out on the go, and imagine like Starlink Mini with the M4 Mac Mini in your car. And yes, some may argue, why don't you just get a laptop? But it's just a, a unique idea, cool idea, especially like, let's say you, you're at work and you have a monitor at work and um, you just want to pick this up for $4.99 or five, if, even if you're a student at the time, $4.99, $5.99 and bring it to and from work, use this as your computing device to get work done. I think it would be phenomenal. Now here's the one thing I wouldn't recommend doing for either of them, and that's to pick up extra storage. So if you have the M4 Mac mini, just pick it up at its base because it's a lot more to upgrade for the extra storage where with that price, you can pick up so many more SSDs, like external SSDs and use that as external storage. Uh, so I pretty much would say pick up the base at 599 and kind of call it a day. But again, it's ultimately up to you. Now here's the thing, through my daily use, and yes, my Mac mini is currently M2 isn't plugged in, but here's the thing, because I really haven't noticed anything, and the main reason why I'm upgrading obviously is also to make content about the M4 Mac mini. But if you have the M2 or the M2 Pro Mac mini and you wanna to upgrade to M2 or M4 and M4 Pro, is it, a huge must have upgrade. Should you upgrade from this to this? No. However, it's definitely a good upgrade if you decide to pick up the M4 Mac mini. Like you're going to you're going to enjoy it. It's going to be a good upgrade, but it's not a necessity. It's not going to be like, "Wow, I need to upgrade." And here's the thing too. Because I upgraded, I am trading in my M2 Mac mini, so I won't have this anymore. And I think I got like half the value, so like 250 and I, I did get it during education discount. So like around like 242.50, I don't remember the exact uh, trade in value Apple gave me. So I will be returning this back to Apple or trading it in back to Apple once I receive the trade in box. 
Uh, so there is that I'm going to be holding on just to the M4 Mac Mini. So it's not a necessity uh, to upgrade, but it is a nice upgrade to have. And it's been almost two years and you're getting a huge design overhaul. And you know, Mac Mini is at, or M4 Mac Mini is actually a very powerful uh, computing device. In fact, the M4 chipset is a very powerful chipset in and of itself. So if that if you really do care about the numbers too, then maybe that might be an incentive to upgrade. But for me, it's not too much because the daily use hasn't really changed for me. Uh, but I can tell you this, you will most certainly appreciate the smaller compact size and the 16 gigs of unified memory as the base RAM. And also, if you are someone who carries a Mac mini on the go and it just works into your workflow, and I'd love to hear uh, your comments down below, or if this is you and you use the M2 Mac mini currently, or you're upgrading to M4 Mac mini, and I'd love to hear your comments, your thoughts about your, your daily setup. Uh, but yeah, I would pretty much say keep the M2 Mac mini. Again, these are just my thoughts and my opinions and what I've noticed between the two. Uh, I definitely say go to the Apple store, check it out. Maybe you might not like the portable size or maybe you just or you feel content with it. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, definitely be sure to superman the like button, comment down below and best of all share this video because it really does help out the channel out a lot while help push my content out to more people. We are almost at our goal of 45,000 subscribers by the end of 2024. I hope we can make it. Thank you guys so much for the support and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.